Hello, yeah, I just thought today we'd uh, have a quick look at your friend and mine, Andre Walker, on uh, GBN. Nice mug, Andre. Um, yeah, uh, sorry for sniffles and sounding bunged up today. It's because I've got sniffles and am bunged up just in time for Christmas. Hurrah! Um, let's see what he has to say uh, about Christmas, shall we? Uh, let's just try and see if he's going to say something that you wouldn't expect him to say. Let's go and try. Every front page, or pretty much every front page, has talked about the Queen's Christmas message. I do have to say, I'm a bit annoyed, slightly, with Meghan and Harry, you know. Right, OK, yeah, so uh, you're talking about the Queen's Christmas message, but you have to shoehorn the inevitable right wing having a go at Meghan bit. OK, well done, we've ticked that box, Andre, yes. <coughs> I mean, the newspapers do uh, carry the Queen's Christmas message because the newspapers never say anything negative about the Queen, do they? Well, unless Diana dies. Um, but when was the last time you saw anything in the media that was negative about the Queen? Answers on a postcard. But anyway, well done, Andre. You managed to squeeze that one in. Well, they've obviously tried to upstage the Queen, but this was an important year for her in terms of Christmas. Right, yes. Um, yeah, OK, here's the picture of uh, that uh, the uh, uh, Megan and uh, whichever one it is, I don't know, the ginger one, see, I don't care about the royals, uh, have put out, and you can see it's obviously uh, trying to upstage the Queen, the, the family photo thing. Definitely, definitely. That's the only reason they put it out. Who, would, who else would put out a Christmas card at Christmas? Yeah, all right. Message. It's her most important message of the year, and of course, it's the first one without the Duke of Edinburgh. And so, apparently, we're told that there's going to be a little bit of personality put into it. Remember, the Queen, when she first started her reign, was very, very, I wouldn't say stale, but very staid. In Ooh, my God, he's strayed into dangerous territory there. It almost sounds like he's going to say something vaguely negative about the Queen. Luckily, he rescues this one. Um, oh, uh, the, the Queen saying something something a bit personal. Um, good. Well, that'll make a change from, at this time of year, one's thoughts go out to the family. Um, that'll make a slight difference uh, from every other Queen's message I've heard for, I don't know, probably 50 odd years of my life. Apart from the ones that I've missed, let's say 30 years of my life. Yeah, that'll be a bit different then. Let's see what other pearls of wisdom we get. And the way that she would deal with people. Stoical. Stoic. 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 There you go. Oh, you rescued Andre. Thank God for that. Stoical. Yeah, it's it's not it's not stayed and dull. Oh, Andre. God. God, right, traitor's gate for you, mate. Very young, Andre. Yeah, I, mean, you know, I, 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 I don't think and it's... she didn't expect to be queen. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's so much the age thing. I think it's much more to do with the changing culture that's gone on over the years. But apparently... Oh, changing culture? That doesn't sound healthy, does it at all? Changing culture? Things being different? Counter culture? 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 Things being different? People but doing different things differently? That's not a right-wing talking point, Andre. This is the second gaffe you've made in at least 30 seconds. Uh, perhaps you're put out by somebody vaguely intelligent sitting next to you. Apparently this year, wait for it, she's going to wear a brooch that she wants wore with the Duke of Edinburgh. That oh, is... brooches all tell a story, don't they? Uh, apparently. But that's what they all say, don't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this is a... It's not one of your, you know, paint jobs. Um, it's a real one, a real, real big one. Um, that apparently she wore on her honeymoon photo shoot. And interestingly, one of the papers has picked up on the, on the fact that it's swapped from left to right, which is apparently what widows quite often do with wedding rings. They take them ah. to that. Oh, yes, Andre, you learnt something there. Yes, um, as ever, uh, the Queen as a cipher, as a metaphor, onto which we paint anything we want, don't we? Oh, the enormous significance of the, the runes have been cast with the brooches. Uh, does anybody really interested in this stuff? Sorry, I'm, I'm in my late 50s and this stuff bores bits of my anatomy off like nobody's business. But I guess I'm just old fashioned, perhaps, Andre. I but I, I mean, Andre is right. You know, the Queen's message, it's become more important actually over the yeah. last couple of years. And I think when she spoke to the nation in the beginning of the pandemic, People who have perhaps been slightly ambivalent about the royal family have seen 
against the backdrop of this mm. dithering bunch that call themselves a government, somebody who's Do actually you know? behaved with great dignity mm. and great... And again, uh, you will notice the juxtaposition between somebody who's intelligent and the bloke on her left. Um, yes, indeed. Um, um, I think, you know, I'm not a royalist at all. I don't see why we need a bunch of rich people as head of state. We've got that already anyway. Anyway, um, but um, yeah, I must admit, uh, that was quite a sort of unifying moment, the whole uh, Queenie on telly talking about things thing. There is still that element of uh, um, patriotic pride, which I guess gets through to even someone as cynical and left-wing as me. Grace, I'm surprised that you thought it was surprising that Meghan tried to upstate... No, no I didn't think it was surprising. <laughs> Look, you, you, you and I have worked together only once before. But I, I, thought, I thought, just based on what you've said, you know, in reality, that we will meet again, that was the performance of her career, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, and it was, and it was very, very emotional, I thought, as well. It really kind of meant a lot, and she summed it up. And I think it's that kind of... It, it epitomised the kind of dignity uh, and, and class, really. But, but can I yeah. ask a question to you two? Because, obviously, we all, we all watch... The Queen's Christmas message, potentially, because we're journalists. Do you think it's going to have a bigger set of viewers this year? I actually think mm. it is. I think yeah, it's going to be, be the might biggest be right. ever. I, mean, yeah. I quite like the fact that William and Kate have really rolled their sleeves up to go... It's almost head-to-head -head against the Duke and Duchess. Of yes, they've really rolled their sleeves up and they put their working clothes on like a working people. Yes. Yes. Anyway, let's uh, create this huge conflict between the brown woman that we don't like and the rest of them. Brilliant. Thank you very much. ...of Montecito. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> We're going to quit yes. the royal family and become the king and queen of America yes, instead. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, they are sort of... It's like a I love, that, I love the way the Daily the... Star never show their faces and it's like, couple show picture of child. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yes, and uh, I must admit... Uh... <coughs> the Daily Star does often amuse me there. OK... Right, uh, there you are, the wit and wisdom of Andre Walker. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I imagine that his job effectively is to stare at his Twitter feed and just make some vague crayon -y notes as to what people out there are saying. And then he can come on TV and regurgitate them. Um, I will set a small competition. I uh, don't know what the prize will be, perhaps some political books or something. If any of you in the comments can come up with... Uh, uh, if any of you can actually find anything that uh, 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 Andre Walker has ever said which doesn't follow a right-wing talking point. OK, uh, probably something by Zizek or maybe a couple of those. Anyway, there you go. Christmas competition time. Hurrah!